Well, once again, Disney Channel is trying to shove their woke, anti-white, racial Marxism onto your kids. A new Disney Plus show, clearly made for young children, teenagers, etc., called The Proud Family, is just chock full of absolute garbage. So I want to I want to apologize in advance for what I'm about to show you, but I do encourage you to stick around and watch this entire video with me so you know exactly what they're trying to tell your kids. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to have my little box in a weird spot because as much as I love the boys at the Gateway Pundit, that's a weird ad and I don't want you to have to look at that the whole time. But let's play this video and uh, I'll try not to talk too much because I want you guys to be able to just listen to it. But it starts off right off the bat, just buck wild. All right, here we go. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves, slaves built this country. country. Tilled this land from sea to sea to sea. First there was rice, tobacco, sugar cane. Then Whitney did his thing and cotton became king. And we were its soldiers. Four, Four million, million strong. Fighting for America's freedoms, even though we remained America's slaves. slaves. Built this country. The descendants of slaves continue to build this. Slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering. No. And continue to earn reparations every moment we spend some Merged in the systemic prejudice, racism, there it is. and white, white supremacy. supremacy. Oh, that America there it is. was for kids. with and still has not atoned for. Slaves still built has this country. Not only field hands, but carpenters, masons, blacksmiths, musicians, inventors, built cities from Jamestown to New Orleans to Banneker, Washington. Washington. 40 acres and a mule. We'll take the 40 acres. Okay, Get hang on. Mule. I got to pause we it. Notice how this entire time, the, the white girl... Over here, I'm, I'm circling her with my head in the video, right? The white girl is just sitting there, not talking, right? She's holding up signs and stuff, but not talking, not allowed to speak on this issue in any way, shape, or form. It's the subtle stuff, it's the little things that you might not pick up on. Now, I do want to say there's a little bit of truth to this video. Like, some of the stuff that they're talking about is legitimate. Obviously, nobody's hiding from the fact that the United States has a very dark past in some certain aspects. Not to say that the rest of the world doesn't, but that, that certainly doesn't belittle the sins of America's history. We still have to own those as a country, not as individuals. The thing that's so problematic about this is that you can already see the blueprint that they're laying out. You can already see that they're trying to talk about the founding fathers. They're talking about how racist they were, the reparations that they need. America has not atoned for its racial sins. Am I expected to atone for the racial sins of somebody that lived 150 years ago? Heck, am I supposed to atone for the racial sins of somebody who's alive today? I bear no responsibility, and presumably neither of you do either, assuming that you're not like a massive racist bigot that owns slaves that nobody knows about. If you do, you're going to go to jail, preferably. But how on earth is the United States ever expected to atone for for the sins of yesterday. That, that's impossible. Is there a magic wand that we can wave around? Will reparations, right, assuming that people get their way and there are reparations, which God forbid that ever happens, if there's ever reparations in the United States, is that going to be the thing that just waves a magic wand? We'll never talk about racism ever again? No, of course not. Even if you gave every single person in the United States $4 million dollars, in reparations, we would still be hearing about this. It would never be enough because you cannot put a number, you can't put a monetary value on what has happened to somebody's great-great-grandpa. It's terrible. Yeah, it's objectively terrible. But there's not, we can't rewind the clock. We can't go back in time and, and atone for sins that we didn't commit. That's not how it works. Anyways, let's keep playing this video because there's still a little bit more and it just continues on this path. Thanks, your family's rich. From the southern plantation heirs to the northern bankers to the New England ship owners, the founding fathers, former president, See, the white girl's still not allowed to talk. The New World Order slaves built this country. We had Tubman, Turner, Frederick D. Then they say Lincoln freed the slaves. But slaves were men. And women. And only we can free ourselves. Emancipation, Emancipation is not freedom. Jim Crow, segregation, redlining, public schools, feeding private prisons where we become slaves again as we celebrate Juneteenth for the umpteenth time our account is still outstanding cause this country was built on slavery which means slaves built, built this country. country and we demand our 40 acres and a mule bump that you can keep bump the mule that. keep the 40 we're taking our freedom <laughs> woo amazing wow so incredible 
Might as well let the white girls just sit at the white girl. Oh my goodness. The white kid just has to sit there the entire time and just say nothing. They just have to be an ally, right? That's what a good white person is supposed to do these days in the United States of America. A good white person, what they want your kid to grow up doing, they want to, they want the good white kid to sit there and say and do absolutely nothing. Just hold up a sign whenever it is that they're told to and continue to just go along with the gradual creep of, of, of racial Marxism. And if you don't know what I mean, when I say racial Marxism, the core tenets of Marx, right? If you read um, the Communist Manifesto authored by Karl Marx, he basically, to summarize the whole thing, he basically says that all of human history, everything, every human interaction can be viewed through the lenses of a class struggle, a struggle between the oppressor and the oppressed, the haves, the have-nots. The bourgeoisie and the proletariat are the terms that he would use back in the day. Well, in the United States, we have too much economic mobility. Somebody who's very, very poor can become very, very rich, and vice versa. Somebody very rich can become very poor. And so the Marxists realize that although they can use the traditional Marxist blueprint and, and talk about class struggles, a more effective way to implement Marxist ideology in pursuit of a revolution, which is always what they want, by the way, a more effective way to use their Marxist ideology is to just substitute. Instead of saying class, of course, you implement race. And now everything is supposed to be viewed through this lens of a racial struggle. And you have the oppressor and you have the oppressed. And the inevitable end goal here is always revolution in accordance with Marxist theory. And what these racial Marxists want is they want to raise up entire generations of young people that, well, there's going to be two different, different classes of young people, right? In accordance with Marxist ideology, the oppressor and the oppressed. They want white kids to grow up feeling bad. They want white kids to feel some sort of inherent guilt for something that they had nothing to do with. They want the black kids, however, to grow up with a feeling of a desire for revenge. They want them to look at their white classmates as if those white kids, you know, eight years old, as if those white kids somehow, some way did something, and that there has to be some sort of revenge, an atonement, as they said, an atonement for the sins of the past. And the younger that they can get these kids, the earlier they can get these ideas into their head through things like a Disney Plus TV show, the more effective that infiltration will be. And listen, before anybody misinterprets what I'm trying to say here, we should teach the dark sides of America's past. It would be stupid not to. I'm not advocating for this, you know, whitewashing of history where we pretend that everyone just sang kumbaya and everybody held hands and it was all perfect and peaches and cream all the time. No, we do need to go back and evaluate the things that happened in the past. We need to go back and learn from our mistakes, but we shouldn't do that in a way that makes six-year-old kids feel like they're somehow guilty, like they're somehow the one responsible for racism, and we shouldn't do it in a way that makes the other group of six-year-old kids feel like they need some sort of an atonement for the sins, some sort of a reparation, some sort of a, a, a fix for what happened 150 years ago, because all that's going to do is sow seeds of violence, it's going to sow seeds of division, and it's going to create massive problems down the road. So to all of the parents out there. I know I'm probably preaching to the choir. Do not let your kids watch programming that was made for kids. Now, I wish that I wouldn't have to say that. I wish I could say, yeah, you know, your kids will be safe if you let them watch Disney or, or Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network, but the programming, <sighs> the programming is nonstop. It's either transgender stuff, it's, it's you know, racial Marxism, whatever it might be. There's always something going on in these shows. They figured out that they can weaponize entertainment, they can weaponize media, and they can get your kids while they're young. They think that you're not going to be paying attention, that you're just going to be, you know, oh yeah, they're just watching Disney, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. This is the kind of stuff that they're showing to your kids. Anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave any ideas you have for videos down in the comments section. I'll do my best to make a video about any comments, questions, concerns, topics of interest that you might have. Until next time, keep me in your prayers. Keep your country in your prayers. God bless.